All right, guys. Namaste, G. So I am in the very beautiful Banjar Valley right now, and uh, I've shown you Sanj Valley. Uh, I showed you Tirthan Valley, and now we are in Banjar Valley. So you, if you're actually coming to travel around Himachal, you can club these three valleys together. Uh, so right now I'm in a place called uh, Cheni Village, and uh, apparently there's a huge, huge, tall structure over here. Uh, I don't know if you remember in the a couple of episodes back uh, in Rela, I showed you those twin, twin towers. Now, similar to that, there's a huge tower over here. And I read on the internet uh, uh, that apparently this is one of the highest uh, structures in the Western Himalayas. Uh, I don't know how much truth there is to that statement, but uh, let's go check it out. Whoa. Can you see it? Right here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That is tall. That is tall, huh? That is tall. I need to put my camera way low for you to actually see this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is tall. That is really, really tall. Dude, like I thought the ones we saw in Raila were ginormous, but this one is like, <laughs> meaning I have to turn my head like this <laughs> to see the top. <laughs> wow. Even with this structure, they say it used to be at least two or three stories like higher. Hmm. But uh, as with everything in Himachal, the earthquake that happened in 1905 shook it down and uh, the villagers had to... Uh, what is the word? Rebuild it. <laughs> rebuild? Huh. Well, they kind of rebuilt the... Be rebuilt the top part of it. The bottom part is still pretty much the original. If you look, there's no doorway to enter the building at the bottom, mm -hmm. right? So what I read online was apparently like uh, if in times of danger when everybody needed to go into the fort to protect themselves, they used to have like a rope which they would send down from on top and everyone had to climb in and then the rope would be like the rope ladder would be lifted and they'd put it back in so there was no way for the enemies to enter the fortress. Like mm. pretty interesting, right? Suchna, Koti ke upar jana va charna sakt mana hai. किसी भी प्रकार की दुर्घटना दुर्घटना गिरने के जिम्मेवार खुद होंगे सो बेसिकली यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू गो इन एंड इफ यू डू डिसाइड टू ब्रेक द रूल्स एंड गो इन इट्स ऑन यू नॉट ऑन देम सो या आई डोंट थिंक आई वांट टू क्लाइंब दिस बॉडी देयर नो वे लुक एट इट इट्स सो स्कैरी ऊपर तो पहुंच जाएंगे नीचे कैसे आएंगे ऐसे बम रख रख के रख रख के हां नीना कहां जा रही हो पानी वाली यमुना all new friends are made <laughs> the kids <laughs> this is a temple i think we can go in not uh, too often do you get to see like uh, mainstream hindu <laughs> mainstream hindu gods, gods. <laughs> true, true. i don't know how to differentiate that right like because mm. these are more that have come from the pagan mm. side and the bone side mm. which have been mixed with the hindu gods but uh, krishna temple in this style is something i'm not seeing This is the temple. Oh. I wasn't able to find it because the doors were shut and then the pujari pointed it out. Can we go outside? Yes, we can go outside. How cool is this? Okay, should we head up to Shoja now? Yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, good morning. 7 a.m. over here and we are in the very, very beautiful village of Shoja, just below Jalori Pass in Banjar Valley. And uh, right now I'm staying in this beautiful colonial guest house over here. It's actually a government guest house. Had to pull some strings to stay here. Uh, but yeah, more importantly, today we are going on a beautiful hike to this lake just above Jalori Pass. Uh, but before we begin, it's time for my early morning coffee fix. 
So Sleepy Owl this year have introduced a new range of flavored coffees and at the moment the weather is really really freakishly cold and I'm enjoying a nice cup of hazelnut flavored coffee which is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't tried Sleepy Owl before the process is very simple all you have to do is put the sachet in your mug add some hot water to it add some sugar if you like and within 5 minutes you have a freshly brewed cup of coffee waiting for you. We also have a vanilla flavored coffee over here for which they recommended me to go hot water and hot milk half and half and uh, just like that you have a vanilla latte. Uh, also these flavors are available in uh, cold brew bags. Now I am a bit of a coffee snob myself and uh, instant coffee is something that just does not do it for me and that's why uh, when I'm hiking or traveling uh, I always like to have a few sachets of these with me and uh, it's just amazingly convenient and not just that they really satisfy like my craving for freshly brewed coffee The other really cool thing that these guys have done is uh, they have upgraded their packaging and made it 100% recyclable. These new sustain packs that you see are uh, now made of paper and aluminium and are completely free of plastic. If you send these used packs back in bulk to them, um, not only will they recycle it, uh, but also give you a credit for your dedication towards, you know, protecting the environment. and uh, yeah you can check out the website below and the links in the description uh, you can also use the code sleepy rnb and this time around get a 15% discount on your order now that i have my coffee buzz on let's go do that hike I'm standing atop uh, Jalori Pass <laughs> uh, in Banjar Valley. This is a must-visit place, and uh, you reach this beautiful meadow over here. It's a really, really big meadow, just about 100 meters from the main road, and uh, yeah, you get this amazing 360 view of all the mountains around you. This is definitely one of my favorite spots in Banjar Valley. <laughs> somewhere there that's one yeah so you have to climb down over here through the forest on top of that hill then down again and then top there and then that's somewhere there there in that little meadow yeah. type thing yeah oh. maybe <laughs> another i don't know we're uh, not even half <laughs> come 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 let's go so i think this is the second time that ronnie and i have uh, done this hike we'd actually come here last year with my parents who are 63 and 68 years old <laughs> and mar mar ke kar kar ke they made it so i think this is quite an easy hike for most people to do and it's beautiful because in different seasons you get to see like the same path looks so different in the summer everything is vibrant and popping and full of flowers and now it's like so stark and autumny and uh, harry potterish almost yeah, more like mordor right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right oh, 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 oh,
What do you think has happened to these trees? These trees? <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> I think these are oak trees, like moru. That's what they're called. Henna, it's a kind of oak. But just look at how beautiful the moss is looking, shining like on the trunks like that. One thing that's really, really, really pissing off when you go on hikes is when you see like just people have just like just dump their shit like it's so so upsetting like if I saw someone do it I'd probably punch them in the face like Ronnie keeps telling me calm and compose calm and compose but like खून ऐसे बॉयल होने लगता है अंदर देख के यार हमने खुद को खुद की आंखों को गुस्सा नहीं आया लेकिन मेरी दर्द नहीं हो रहा देख के ये कचरा लाइक इट्स जस्ट बियॉन्ड मी लाइक आई कैन नॉट कॉम्प्रिहेंड व्हाट इज गोइंग थ्रू सम वंस हेड व्हेन दे डू दिस हार्ट ब्रेकिंग Okay, so right behind me is the Sirolsar Lake. Uh, Sirolsar Lake. It's a bit of a tongue twister, uh, but yeah, this is one of those uh, hikes uh, which is not only short but it is also very, very rewarding. The hike itself, I feel, is more rewarding than the destination itself. Not to say that the uh, the lake isn't beautiful, nah? Huh? It's absolutely gorgeous. But when it comes to the topography of the hike, you know, you're high up. you know perched up 360 degrees mountains everywhere and then you come into the forest and to, it's uh, just very very pretty and easy to do also in the past three videos i think we've shown you areas which are close to manali but have a very different uh, vibe than manali each of these places if you actually explore them more i mean there are some crazy paradise like places within these and uh, i want to say like uh, you know true exploration and adventure is something that cannot be spoon fed you know that that's it just defeats the purpose otherwise so i hope you guys use these uh, areas that i've shown in in my vlogs as guide points and uh, go on your own adventures and uh, yeah that is uh, what is going to satisfy your thirst for adventure i feel <laughs> Good morning guys. Check it out. What a surprise this morning. We have snow. The first snowfall of the winter up here in Shoja. This is gorgeous. I thought I would end the vlog up there with the beautiful sunset, but uh nah. This is much better, isn't it? Yeah, if it goes on like this, uh, and if we don't get out, we might just get stuck here. So, on that note, no stagey. <laughs>